Today is November 17th, and you're watching the 72nd episode of Sports Fusion. On tonight's episode of Sports Fusion, Anthony Yezzo, he is a varsity football and varsity baseball player. Yeah, definitely. It's been a crazy day. I mean, a lot of guys getting paid, and a lot of guys deserve it. Yeah, John Carlos Stan from the Miami Marlins got signed for 13 years, $325 million dollars. The largest contract in baseball history. Yeah, it's nuts. I mean, uh, I just saw, I think I just saw some on Twitter, like, uh, for the next 13 years, every day, he's going to be making, I think it's about $68,000. Just every day, it's, I mean, it's nuts. I mean, and he's going to get paid because of those contracts in the MLB are uh, guaranteed. So, mm -hmm. definitely well-deserving. I don't know if, I don't know if it's been the smartest move for the Marlins or uh, for them, uh, I don't know, but we'll see how it works out. Yeah, and uh, five years, $82 million for catcher Russell Martin. The Blue Jays signed him today also. Yeah, Russell Martin, I mean, I followed him ever since he was on the Dodgers, he was on the Yankees, he was on the Pirates the uh, last couple of years. Uh, definitely, he's been one person that I look up to, one of the uh, great catchers in the league right now. Uh, offensively, he's definitely stepped it up the last couple of years. I mean, with the Yankees, he's a great catcher, caught the staff real well. Uh, I mean, he's well deserving. I mean, definitely worth all that money to have a guy behind the plate just like that. Now, it's crazy that he's getting paid more than Brian McCann. Yeah, it's nuts. I mean, definitely, he was, he definitely uh, stepped up uh, this past year and uh, years before that. His offense definitely has stepped up, so he definitely earned it. I mean, McCann. McCann, he's definitely one of those power guys. He hasn't really, he didn't really do too well with the uh, Yankees this past year. Um, and I think with uh, Russell Martin's uh, offensive year, definitely uh, boosted up those numbers quite a bit. And the Cardinals acquired Jason Hayward and Jordan Walden for right-hand pitcher Terrell Jenkins from the Braves. So that's a that's a pretty big trade. Yeah, the real good kick trade. Uh, Hayward, I mean, he's definitely one of the one of the rising stars in MLB. He's still young, great power at that uh, leadoff spot. He's definitely gonna be doing doing good for the Cardinals. They're definitely making. It seems like they're making moves to try to get in the World Series almost every year now. And switching gears to the NFL, yesterday the Giants lost, and everyone's going crazy over Eli Manning, saying that he's the worst quarterback in history. I mean, I mean, you can't really put it on the guy. I mean, I mean he did. I understand last game. You obviously got to put that in five interceptions, couple goals, tip balls, some defense. The uh, San Francisco did, definitely just made a couple good plays. Um, I mean, other than that, he's still one of the elite quarterbacks in the league. He's got a, he got a great arm. He got a great mindset for the game. I mean. Oh, no, I mean, you can't blame that man. He only he has a couple receivers to throw to. His line is decimated with injuries. They don't have a running game. So, I mean, it's definitely it's tough in this, these positions in these uh, these growing years for those uh, those staffs. You said elite. I don't think he's an elite quarterback, even though he has he's never hurt. Mm -hmm. But you said like he had five interceptions yesterday. Mm -hmm. I think it was 17 interceptions the whole year. Yeah, I mean, definitely these last couple of years has been a downgrade, but I mean, he still he still won those two. He still, I think, yeah, two Super Bowls or something like that. Yeah, two um, Super Bowls. They're always, they're always a playoff contender. They're always give, they always give uh, a real good chance in the uh, NFC East. So I mean, they definitely give a run for the money. He's not, he's not, no, he's not, no, any awful quarterback. I mean, he's not the greatest in the league right now, but he's definitely, well, he's definitely, I put him, i definitely put him in the top ten. I mean, it'd be hard to fit him in the top five, but all in all, I mean, he's working with, he's working with what he has. Mm -hmm. I mean, their defense, their defense isn't helping him at all mm -hmm. anyway, so, I mean, it's tough. It's tough to win in that atmosphere. And especially at a low scoring game, I think the final score was 17 to 10. It's not like mm -hmm. they got crushed, but the uh, exactly. Exactly. Five interceptions did not help. Yeah, exactly. And the yeah, Patriots didn't help at all. And the Patriots beat the Colts yesterday. Good game for Tom Brady. Oh yeah, great game, great game. 
Okay, big week on Sports Fusion. So join me tomorrow night at 7.30. Thank you for joining me on the Sports Fusion episode. No problem. Thank you, Alex, for having me. I enjoy coming on every week. Some games are going on right now. The Rangers versus the Lightning. NHL hockey. Shout out to Jared Smith. And then the Nuggets. I hate that team name. Sorry. Versus the Cavaliers are also going on right now. NFL football tonight, Monday Night Football, Steelers versus the Titans tonight at 8.30, should be a good game. My pick is the Steelers, tune in tomorrow, if I'm right, if I'm wrong, sports analysts can be wrong, I might get some heat, but, and if the Steelers lose, people might say I jinxed them. So thank you for joining me on this Sports Fusion episode, join me tomorrow night at 7.30 with a CBA football player, Connor Ryan. Thank you for joining me on the Sports Fusion episode. I will see you tomorrow.